Now what we have here is an easy trifold menu design with downloadable examples. Well, downloadable master files actually. You don't even need to build this one. You can just use the files that you download and um, put your little bit of graphics in there. Pictures of the uh, meals maybe. Fill out some blurb about your restaurant and put in the menu. What you can see there is the front side and the other side of course is there. It's a two-part trifold. So without further ado, let's carry on. As it says, an easy trifold menu design. Downloadable masters included. And the bonus is it's in A4 or US letter sizes. So it doesn't matter which side of the pond you're on, you can use it. It's suitable for any restaurant or food service business. Well, in fact, anything that has a menu, even a coffee stall on a roadside. All the fonts are widely available. There's nothing flash in there. And we'll start by looking at the first master. There's no need to actually build them. You can work right from the downloadable files, but we need to see how they're built. There are two example brochures, A4 and US letter. They're exactly the same, except for the sizes, of course. Both brochures are available as AF Publisher file downloads from my website. See the description below and subscribe while you're there. The description um, contains the address. If you don't know it by now, you soon will. Now here's a look at the setup for the document. Two documents, A4 trifold and US letter trifold. As they're slightly different packages, then the two setup dimensions are slightly different. And you'll see those if you need to. Otherwise, just select the one that you want and away you go. The master A page shows you the fold lines you need for your brochure. Of course, these don't show up on your final printed document and there is a bleed area, but of course, if you print with your printer or you, you send the job to a print shop, the bleed lines don't print. Page one consists of the front cover and back plus inside fold of the trifold menu. Both A4 and US letter are the same. Only the paper dimensions differ slightly. Now I've simplified those graphics. They're simply um, image placeholders and you place the image that you wish. Just drag it and drop it there and it will appear in that, those little squares. This is the inside of the menu if you like. And of course it's obviously a menu. There's a, a whole lot of lorem ipsum text there but you can put in whatever text you like. And the prices, of course, all very important. And I know with these days of COVID and nobody going to restaurants, well, people still are, so you might still be able to use the menu. Now, showing the document setup dimensions, and the images are embedded, by the way. Don't use remote images, because if you move this document, You'll lose track of your images. I don't know how many times I, I, I see that with templates. People say, here's a fantastic template. But there's no images because the images are somewhere else on their computer. They didn't embed them and you don't have them. So then you've got to wander around all over the place looking for images. If it's a short document like this with very, very minimal graphics, embed your images. Use CMYK colors on both menus. This is not a digital menu. Well, it may be, but <laughs> you'll be stretching it, handing people a, an iPad or a computer or something to read the menu on. Most iPhones won't show menus up too well at all, especially things in columns. So print it out and hand it to your customers. And it's CMYK. Now there's a 3mm bleed on this A4 paper. The... US letter one is slightly different, but you needn't worry about that because the bleed lines don't print. If you send it to a printer and they say, where's your bleed lines? Say, there they are. The spread setup showing the paper measurements for A4. That's a standard A4 size piece of paper. No problems. And the spread setup, spread setup there's a tongue twister, showing the paper measurements for US letter. They're slightly smaller sizes. Now, 
The US letter is used in a lot of places around the world apart from US, but A4, if you like, is the ANSI A4 size. So take your pick. Depends on what paper you've got in your printer, I guess. Margins on the A4 are slightly different to the US letter. Only by about two millimeters, I think, from memory. Margins on the US letter, same as the A4. Okay, no, there's no mystery there. They're not really different at all. But you can make the margins whatever you like. You can see the blue square rectangle, or the blue rectangle around there. That's your margins. And in this case, it's just encompassing the list of items, the price list. Don't worry about things appearing outside the border. Your bleed lines take care of that. <coughs> now that we've had a look at the construction, download the master files and save them somewhere safe. And you can get right to work populating the documents with your own text, your menus and prices. Steak, eggs and chips, five bucks. I'll buy that for a dollar. The outside panels. Again, get right to work populating the document with your own text, your own images. You may not be doing whatever's in those images there, so change the images. You might have hamburgers, you might have fish and chips, you might have a la carte, you might be a Michelin three-star restaurant. Put what you like in there. Bon appétit. Remember, save your work as you go. Some notes on this exercise, the downloadable A-Photo, oops, downloadable.af publisher files are available from my website download page. And there it is there, robertcharmers.uk, Affinity Download, and it's also on robertcharmers.com, which is the Wix site I'm building, as I may have mentioned to you previously. Please remember to subscribe and like my channel on YouTube. Spread the love. Thank you for watching.